Hi guys and welcome to this developer review of Caged Element, the studio behind the game Grip. Grip describes itself as a futuristic combat racer inspired by the roll cage games from 1999-2000. Combine furious speed with intense action to create memorable racing moments you won't forget. Grit was launched on Steam on the 2nd of February 2016 and costs $15.99 or your regional equivalent. It has a very positive 95% rating and just under 300 reviews. Caged Element was formed at the end of 2014 by Chris Mallinson and Robert Baker, and Robert Baker was one of the original Roll Cage developers. They did try to do a Kickstarter campaign in August of 2015, but after two weeks had only been able to raise about a quarter of the amount they were looking for, so they cancelled that on August 27th. However, the good news for the team was that they'd already been greenlit. In fact, they posted on Greenlight on July the 8th and were greenlit only five days later on July 13th. So that was a good boost for the team. And that laid the way to be able to release on Early Access on the 2nd of February 2016. Each developer review follows the same formats. There are four individual ratings, which are rated from A, which is exceptional, to E, which is disgraceful, and then there is an overall positive or negative recommendation on whether or not you should consider supporting this development studio. The first rating we're going to look at is Community Interaction. The community interaction rating is all about how active and how visible the devs are in the forums. In Caged Elements case, it's clear from even a cursory examination they are exceptionally active. They answer most if not all of the questions they're presented with, and it's safe to say that their answers are sometimes even brutally honest. If you look through their technical support forum as well, you'll see that most of the questions in there are answered by a dev as well. Even when the devs are not on the forums, which is very unusual, they do have at least one community moderator, so they're covered for those times as well. So for their presence, for their activity, for their quick answers, for their accurate answers, and for their ability to work with the community and keep them informed, they get an absolute grade A rating for their community interaction. The second rating is developer speed, how often are updates released, how much content is contained within those updates, and if we're given information in advance on when that update is going to come out, how accurate is that information? Now, in Caged Elements case, they've released about six updates in the last four months. The last one was February the 10th, and that contained four new levels, as well as a whole bunch of different gameplay additions, tweaks, and bug fixes. So it's safe to say they have a reasonably good update progress. The devs have stated that prior to early access, they were releasing an update roughly every two weeks, but post early access release, they're going to do it roughly every month. So that means that we're about due for an update within about the next week or so. For the amount of updates prior to release and for the rather large update that came after release, I'm going to give them a provisional rating of B for developer speed. The third rating is for development clarity. What public information do we have in terms of the roadmap and the tasks that are being worked on right now? Is there an estimated time to finish the game? And what is the info on the next patch? Now, there's a few negatives in this for caged elements, so I'm going to address those first. First of all, there's no info on what's going to be in the next patch. We know it's probably going to come in the next week or so based on what they said in the past, but we don't know what's going to be in it. Secondly, there's no public board to be able to see what tasks are being worked on right now, so we don't get a view into the development process. But those are the only two negatives I can really find. They do have a public roadmap on their store page, which is very, very clear. They've given an estimated time to finish of 2016, and have also said that if funding permits, post-release they will carry on adding features including potentially a track editor which will be pretty cool. So for the negatives I'm going to deduct one point but for the positives I'm going to give them a rating of B for development clarity. The final of the four ratings is developer honesty. 
What claims have they made about the game? Have they ever lied or have they ever screwed up? And how honest is the Steam store page relative to the state of the game as it is today? Now this is a very easy rating to give. The Steam store page is very very clear on exactly what's in the game today and exactly what will be in the game when it's finished. They stated a release date of 2016 and judging by the velocity of work, I think it's fair to say there's a very good chance they're going to hit that. They've been very open with their community, they're always happy to answer questions and at least from my research they've never lied or screwed up. So the rating I'm going to give Caged Element for developer honesty is a straight A. Caged Element are the kind of developers that we want to see on early access. Even before they released on the program, they had a game that was very playable with an initial amount of content. They're clear on their Steam store page what is in the game now, and they're clear what they're going to add and by what time they're going to add it. They're very quick to answer questions, they're very quick to answer bug reports. So I have no hesitation in recommending Caged Element as a development studio that you should consider supporting if Grip is your kind of game. That's it for this developer review. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please consider hitting that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That's it for now. As always, enjoy your gaming. Take care.